Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about a tool that I use for online teaching called Minicam. And I have found that Minicam is extremely useful. My, my district's chosen to go with Zoom for teaching. And so I use Minicam as my camera that inputs into Zoom. And it'll work with the other types of software like Microsoft Teams and whatnot. And you're looking at my face right now on Minicam with a um, virtual background. So let me open up my Zoom and you can see that what I've done here is I select a camera and I select the Minicam webcam view. And it's kind of interesting. One of the neat tricks that I can do with this right off the bat is um, Zoom has a virtual background and Minicam has a virtual background going. So I can actually integrate both of them. It's just kind of a fun trick. Uh, I can come here and go to virtual background and use something like the fish. Um, and as you can see, now my chalkboard, because it, I selected green as the um, green screen color, my chalkboard has uh, fish in the background, has like an aquarium. And so when I'm teaching, if I add something like that in the back of my meeting, um, it's kind of kids get a kick out of that. Whoa, how'd you get that? you know, aquarium in the background, or any any video actually that I put up here as my virtual background can go in that spot. So it's, it's kind of a fun thing to do. Um, any one of those virtual backgrounds can, can work. Anyway, that's just using it with Zoom. So I'm going to get out of Zoom now. I'm going to go ahead and end this meeting and run through the, the things that you can do with Minicam. First off, I have a green screen behind me and I typically use something called chroma key to go ahead and replace my green screen background to put in whatever background I want. So here's my normal background and then with chroma key on I have a, a different background. I can change by going to trans my background at any time and make it more of a school setting or like for instance before class starts I will use this screen here and I can tell the kids what time it is what time will the class will start um, you know maybe what grade level that it is I, I can actually put pictures on there I, basically I can set this up however I want any message I want if I want to put my office hours let's say I'm in office hours I might have this up so that um, parents that come to my link during office hours don't just immediately see me. They might see this screen and then um, once I see that they're in, in the meeting I can then start talking and get to them and, tr and transfer it over. Um, the great thing about Minicam uh, first off is that I can use many different video sources. So these are all different video sources all these transferring to different uh, screens. Uh, but it also works for different cameras or different computer screens. I personally use a few different computer screens in my setup and I would recommend that for any teacher. But here I have a camera facing my desk and that way I can do whatever I want to do in order to show kids, move my coffee cup out of the way, in order to show kids whatever um, the lesson is if I need to write something out especially for math um, or if I need to show them my own writing, I can do that. And it's not just on share my screen. So sometimes what I'll end up doing is I'll, I'll share my screen and I might have a, a document up there and I'll start the kids on say a writing assignment and then I will change my, my um, screen on Minicam over to um, my other camera and I'll show them that I am actually doing the assignment as they are also. It's really good to model, and uh, any teacher knows this, it's good to do the assignments that the kids do uh, along with them because then you get an idea of well, how, how much time it should take, how difficult is, it, is this. You get more ideas about what, what should be added into the lesson. So, so being able to do that is um, it's a great thing and something that, that having this software allows you to do. That's just one aspect. Two, I use this Chris down here uh, in order to use noise suppression and I typically don't run my um, 
my noise suppression or my, my audio through Minicam, although I could. Um, and it's just because when I'm recording videos, I already have the crisp thing set up and that's been free for me also and it works. But the Minicam has a noise suppression feature that works just fine. And I think that if I wasn't making uh, videos on OBS, uh, I use OBS Studios to make to make the video. Um, and, ha and if I didn't already have it running through Chris, I would be using the Minicam um, noise suppression feature all the time. So that's first off. Second, if I come over here, I can draw on my screen and I can put any kind of text that I want. And I use this text feature all the time. So, and then I just, and you see down here, there's a text feature to that. Um, and then if I wanted to draw on the screen, I can simply do whatever I want there, right? And I can turn that on and off very easily. Okay. This time feature is something that I probably use more than anything else, um, in fact. Over here, uh, we have the clock. The kids want to know when it's recess time or when, uh, when lunch time is or whatever. Uh, the clock can be up there all the time if you want. It's up to you. The stopwatch. So if we start an assignment, um, I will typically say, okay, you know what? Let's see how long it takes to, to get this done or we're going to work on, on this. You're going to have three minutes to do you know, these multiplication problems or whatever it is. And then we have a timer. And here's a five minute timer. And you can change the color of these timers uh, to whatever you want. You can place them wherever you want. And this works great for having kids that are doing work in your class. This way they know how much time they have to get something done. And it's, it's right there readily available for them. Virtual backgrounds, I already went over this, but uh, let me turn this off and show you that one more time. All right. I don't use this lower third function very much. Sometimes when I'm in a meeting, I'll put it, I'll have it on, but it covers too much real estate, as you can see. I mean, I have to like. However, it's something that I think other teachers might be interested in using. Effects is just kind of a fun thing. I can put up pictures. Some teachers use this to give um, kids uh, rewards and stars and things like that. The, those effects are available. Um, Usually you can click on the effect and move it around. There we go. And move it around. You can resize it however you want. And some of these effects you can even put and it will go with your face. There's my zombie mask effect. And so it's kind of fun to, uh, to use some of these effects. My daughter likes this one. Let's see. Yeah. She likes this one, of course, because um, she is in, uh, just going into first grade and she thinks it's so cute. So that's another feature. And one of the things about teaching kids is online is it's, it's hard to keep them focused. You, you got to do what you can to um, add a little pizzazz to your lessons um, because there's, kids are so used to being entertained on the computer screen anyway. It's like they want to be playing a video game or watching some great movie and instead they're watching their teacher now. So it's kind of a big shift for them. And in gallery, of course, you can... You can um, put whatever pictures you want in here and, and those will come up and you can add those to you. I don't have a lot in my gallery, but you can add those pictures to, um, to the lesson. So let's say I was doing a lesson on, I don't know, um, the water cycle. I could easily um, have those pictures in my gallery and then click on them and, and put them up in the, in the upper left hand or right hand side of, of, of my picture view. And those tools are easily accessible. Um, one of the the suggestions that I would have about Mini, Minicam is a lot of people have reported that it will crash on them sometimes if they don't put the frame rate down. Um, I built my own computer specifically for online teaching, and so I haven't had too many issues with this um, because I I when I was building my computer, I knew I wanted a lot of RAM, I wanted a lot of uh, strong processor, and I got really geeky on it. So um, if you are having that trouble, they say put your your um, put your your frames and your size of your video uh, decrease it. So I'm I'm normally at 1080p, and you might go down to 480 or something like that, like this, and just just change it around, and it should work fine. Um, 
And that's it. I'm using ManyCam. The version that I'm using is uh, 7.5 right now. And I, I have found that it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing to use. It doesn't cost that much. I believe right now the lifetime subscription... The lifetime subscription, I think, is running like $150. I mean, everything for teachers, it seems like, um, right now co costs so much money to shift to online learning. So $79 a year for the premium version if you want. But they do have a lifetime version that seems like it's a good deal. That's uh, $150 if you think you're going to use it for longer. And then they have, there's actually even a free version that they have too. So... Oh, I guess they don't have a free version. It's like a trial version. You can you can try it out for, um, for a certain amount of time. Anyway, that's it on Minicam. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and like if you enjoy this. And in the comments, please put any other videos you'd like to see me make. I enjoy making these videos. And if you put what you're interested in in the comments, I will take a look at it and consider making a video on that. Have a great day.